This one coding project got me interviews at Fang and every other big tech company that I applied to. Before I dive in, I want to emphasize that in your coding projects, it's not necessarily about how good of a quality the project is, but it's about demonstrating a passion and desire to learn and get better at coding. To start, this project is a simple data scraping project that I built with Python, and it's something that a lot of people might include on their resumes. Personally, I'm a massive Premier League fan, and so I wanted to build an application that I would actually use in real life, and this is something that will help you stand out for other interviews. In this particular case, I wanted to analyze stats to build my own fantasy Premier League team. The one key here that makes me stand out from all the other applicants is that it's a full stack application. The backend is built with SQL and Spring Boot, and the frontend is built with React.js. A full stack application showcases my diverse skill set and the ability to work on numerous different aspects of web development. By building a full stack website, you immediately become a stronger candidate, increasing your chances of getting that call back. This is especially true for startups and small teams where they may not have access to unlimited resources. Having a full stack developer who can handle multiple aspects of development can be a significant asset. Personally, I value full stack development because it demonstrates your ability to adapt to different technological changes and can lead to numerous opportunities for professional growth. In my opinion, something that made this tech product stand out was the very big tech stack that I used to produce it. If you want any tutorials on specifics or have any questions, please do not hesitate to leave them down in the comments below. First, the data scraping was done using pandas and beautiful soup in Python. I scraped this website, which is a simple Premier League stats website. It has all of the in-depth analysis that I wanted for my fantasy team and more. After some formatting to only get the stats that I wanted, I exported all stats to a CSV file for further manipulation. Next, to create my database, I simply migrated this CSV file over to a Postgres table. I then queried the data to narrow it down using SQL. This demonstrates my knowledge of data engineering, which is a highly sought after skill set in the tech market today, so I highly recommend that you include it as much as you can in your tech projects. To manage queries of the database, I wrote a Spring Boot application which was able to take GET API requests for different groups of players and return values. For example, I programmed a bunch of different Java classes which were able to then search by team, by nationality, by position, or directly by a player's name in the database. After the backend was created, all I needed to do was create a React.js app for users to visualize the data. Although this in itself might not seem like anything fancy, it is incredibly crucial because it now allows any employer or interviewer to see my hard work firsthand. Finally, I deployed the full stack application completely for free using Railway for the backend and Netlify for the front end. For more coding content like this, and if you want to join me to get that $200,000 job in big tech, please like and subscribe. If you find this video helpful, I highly recommend this video on the common coding mistakes that a lot of people will make in their interviews or this video about perfecting your coding portfolio to guarantee that you finally get that interview.